listens to music first, always. We are unstoppable. Open the frontiers to make people meet people. Music is not fireworks. Music is feeling. You're good to go. Podcast. Hello and welcome back to Vote for the Music, the Eurovision podcast. I'm Benjamin Winnipeg and today we're going to be breaking down every single thing you're expecting to find on Saturday night as Melody Festivalen kicks off in Malmö, Sweden. And we'll see whether or not Sweden managed to get two on the trot for the first time for any country since 1994. So without further ado, it's time to say that iconic mellow phrase. No, Shirley. So, obviously, Sweden won the Eurovision Song Contest last year with their Melody Festival and winner to two by Louine. And they are very much hoping that this year will be the same and that they can win two on the trot. We've heard from Sweden's head of delegation this is indeed the aim. So, that is absolutely what they're looking to do. But interestingly, although Sweden last year won with a returning Swedish representative, in fact, a returning Swedish winner, this year is the first Melody Festival since 1997 not to include a single former Swedish representative in it. Now, we've got a whole bunch of returnees from Melody Festival history, a lot of familiar names, but no previous Swedish representative. So we start off on Saturday the 3rd of February in Malmö Arena, which is exactly where the Eurovision Song Contest will be held in two months' time for heat one and i think for the first time since the 1970s there are five heats this year say so the first one is in malmö the second one is in gothenburg the third is in vaxho the fourth is in ekelstuna the fifth is in karlstad and then again the final is in the friends arena in stockholm the past few years there have been seven acts in each malfest heat but from this year onwards due to the fact they've added a fifth heat and the songs have gone from 28 30 in total we have got six acts in each heat so that means two of them go directly to the final two of them go to a second chance round which will be included in the fifth heat somewhere and then the two of them are out altogether. so our six songs in heat one are song one adam woods supernatural from the previews the team at vote for the music.co.uk have heard adam woods song supernatural is very much in the same style to the song he did last year which was where you are however the sami elements are obviously not there because he is just on his own but it's very much in that same sort of musical style it's very much in that same sort of landscape and it's very good quality this could be one to watch song two samir and victor Hella Vorden Vontar. From the preview that we have heard, Samir and Victor are very much going for the same style of songs they have last time. It's a good, fun party song. And again, it's very crowd pleasing. It's something that could get a lot of 12s from the lower age brackets in the voting. And it's something that a lot of people can enjoy in the audience waving their balloons about. This could do very well. Song 3 Melina Borglo, Min Melody. From the previous we've heard, Melina Borglow's song seems to be a fairly standard but nice and pretty country song which doesn't have a whole lot to it, but again, it could capture the imagination, it could capture people in a certain way when it comes to the performance, when it comes to how it plays on the night. So, when I think this is probably more than likely going to non-qualify, anything could happen here. Song 4, Elisa Landstrom, Forever Yours. From the previous that we've heard, Elisa Landstrom's song, Forever Yours, is very much in the style of a good old schlager at Melody Festival. And it's got a modern production, very much so that it's very much harking back to the style of songs you got very much from ABBA. And it's that sound, there's a big piano motif in it, which is very reminiscent of the sound you got in Dancing Queen, for example. But I think the most apt comparison would be if we go back three years to Charlotte Perelli's Still Young, in Melody Festival is very much that sound or something like Corolla's Invincible it's that sort of song it's very crowd pleasing again this can pick up a lot of votes probably with younger people and older people not necessarily the middle people but younger and older definitely and this probably will go through whether that's direct to the final or whether that's through an Andrew Chanson ticket Song 5 Lisa Ajax Awful Liar. Lisa Ajax is back, and from what the previews we've heard, 
she wants to qualify this time. This song is a ballad, yes, but it's very much a modern ballad, it's a quality ballad. It's a ballad that sounds like it's ripped straight out of the charts, and with Lisa IX's voice that we know is incredible, this could do very well. This could be the moment of the night. This is definitely one to watch. And song six, Smash Into Pieces, Heroes Are Calling. Song-wise, from the previous we've heard of Smash Into Pieces, Entry Heroes Are Calling, it is very much the same sort of deal as we got last year with Six Feet Under. The song sounds virtually identical, but it's very much like they've booked the ante. Where last time, it was like they were just performing to a crowd. This time, it's like they're performing to a huge, enormous stadium crowd. That's the kind of thing they've done. They've really just turned up the notch. It does seem, though, in an attempt to try and broaden their appeal, they have dumbed down the lyrics. Last year, it was six feet under. You know, that's a song about being dead in the ground. This year, it's Heroes Are Calling. It is a very much a positivity rock song, all about, you know, being a hero and coming and saving the day and kind of things. And it seems they've done this in an attempt to appeal to the lower age categories and get votes and the defensive on them. But if that works, that works. And they very much could be going direct to the final. So if you've only been following Melody Festival for a very short amount of time, instantly two names will pop out to you because we have two returnees from just last year in this first heat itself. We've got Adam Woods, who last year performed with Ark North and John Hendrick Walgreen performing solo this time. And then we've also got Smash Into Pieces, the metal group who entered last year and surprisingly came a very high finish of third place and then we have a few more returners actually there's only one person that's not a returner here let's be honest melina borglo however is a name that we don't seem to know much about she seems to be a pretty much entirely newcomer with her song mini melody so it could go either way she could complete flop or come out of nowhere and become a huge star here now the voting system seems to be exactly the same as the last few years with at voting and age voting and tele voting no joy voting in the heat though and it seems to be split into two rounds like before however we do know a slight change is that we're coming back to sort of the way it was done before 2022 in the fact that after the first direct to the final qualify is announced we will get a reprise of that first direct to the final song and then afterwards we have our scoring system and we find out our second direct to the final song at the end we'll get a reprise of that song so both direct to the final songs will be reprised in full on the live show which is something that's not been done in 2022 or 2023, but is back now. As for our host, our host is Karina Berg. Karina Berg is a comedian and television presenter. She's well known as the wife of Christian Luck, who's hosted Melody Festival in quite a few times in the past. Now, she herself doesn't actually have much of a direct connection with Melody Festival, but there was a quite famous interplay almost about her by Bjorn Gustafsson, who is heavily rumoured to be appearing in some form this year about her in 2008. This will be the first Melody Festival since Petra Murdy hosted in 2009, where there will only be one presenter. Now, a small caveat to that is 2022 was originally branded as Oscar Zier being the only host of that, but Farah Abadi, Eva Reinberg and Johanna Nordstrom all came in to join him at various points during 2022 so really it was hosted by many more people than just him so looking actually at the actual case of it it looks like this will be the first time since 2009 that we'll have a single host for melody festival when it comes to this week's interplant 18s are coming back and reuniting to perform now this is quite a big deal 18s were huge in the late 90s and early noughties originally as other teens and then they became 18s when they started releasing original music that wasn't just other covers they were very big all across europe including say sweden germany norway denmark the united kingdom so this is quite a big deal especially since they've been split up and not performed together at all since 2004 so this is quite a hotly anticipated interval act and it will be a medley of their biggest hits Finally, there's a few other details we do know thus far. So, for example, the stage design has been revealed. Now, some people have said it's quite basic. Most Melody Festival and stages do have to be basic because it's touring across six cities over six weeks. It's a stage that has to be transported very easily, put up very easily, taken down very easily. 
but it does contain two LED screens, a lighting rig, an LED floor. So there's a lot going on there. But yes, it is basic compared to what a Eurovision stage would be. But say Eurovision stages take two, three weeks to even put up, where this needs to be put up in a couple of days. Looking ahead to the rest of Melody Festival and beyond the first heat, um, we've got some interesting returnees, including Marisa and Liamu next week, who had previously participated in the last couple of years. In the week after, Clara Klingenstrom and Cassia Pear are hotly anticipated heat four. We've got someone like Dota, who came second in 2020 with Bulletproof, and Danny Salcedo, who seems to be the most Melfest of all Melfest acts, who's so associated with the contest, it's frankly ridiculous he's not gone to Eurovision yet. And then Heat 5, where you've got acts such as Marcus and Martinez, who came second last year, and Medina from the previous year, closing off the whole show as Song 30. So thank you for listening, and I hope that gave you all the information you need to know about this week's Melody Festival. It is on at 8 o'clock in Central European time, 7 o'clock in Greenwich Mean Time on Saturday the 3rd of February and it will be on every single Saturday all the way until the 9th of March where the final will be at the Friends Arena in Stockholm which I'll be attending so I'll be able to give you the whole lowdown direct from the arena on the 9th of March. So thank you for listening. You can follow us on all our social media. Go to votefortheMusic.co.uk and until the next time, remember to vote for the music. <laughs> This is to music first, always. We are unstoppable. Open the frontiers to make people meet people. Music is not fireworks. Music is feeling. You're good to go. This is Vote for the Music, the Eurovision podcast.